And I was not allowed to tell anyone I was Jewish. And somehow I did never let go of my weapon. He hit the enemy. Take the cancer, you pull back. I am the yeah. okay. and I'm very proud. And I remember the feeling that it left. I, I joined this division in Hurtgen Forest, and <laughs> there wasn't much movement at all. And we were at a stalemate. I was a field lineman, a wireman, and we couldn't even get out to lay wire. Mm. They had messengers to go from one command post to the other, and it was pretty cold. And uh, they moved us back for a rest at the beginning of December, took us back to Luxembourg along the Our River. and. By rest, I meant that uh, we were across from the Germans and they tried to take some prisoners of ours for interrogation and vice versa. And we were there uh, two weeks and I was doing guard duty at 5.30 in the morning on December the 16th and some shells started to come in and I thought, this isn't right. And it wasn't right. And uh, in another five or six hours, we were up trying to defend. I wasn't a rifleman. Mm -hmm. I was a field lineman trying to lay wire out to those guys so they could call for support, artillery support, tank support. Those guys, you know, they were, they were the heart and soul of, of, uh, of the war. And when the lines went out, out we'd go to repair them.